Hey everyone, and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. I've been working on this large painting of, a, of an old farmhouse, and I wanted to uh, just show you how uh, you can do some shingles on a roof really easily. Uh, sometimes that's one of the harder things to do on a house, is to create the look of shingles uh, without it looking too grid-like or too um, fake or manufactured. Uh, usually old houses have shingles that are kind of uh, uneven and things like that anyway. So I'm just going to show you uh, really quick how to uh, do some shingles on the house um, with just a few easy brush strokes. Okay, I'm just going to be using a flat brush and uh, usually what I do is I paint a darker base color. In this circumstance I'm using burnt sienna. And then what I do is lighten the color up a little bit with maybe uh, a little bit of white or a little bit of yellow, yellow ochre in this case, because I used a lot of yellow ochre in the background. Uh, so I'm just going to lighten up the color a little bit with yellow ochre, and I'm going to use a flat brush. And basically all you have to do is hold the flat brush up, and you're just kind of making some squares, and you're just kind of... Uh, implying that they're shingles and as they dry you kind of want to overlap them a little bit they'll dry a little bit darker so uh, they might look like they're standing out a lot right now um, but as they dry they'll be a little bit darker and what you can do is since shingles are a lot of times a lot of different colors uh, every once in a while go back to your palette grab a little bit of a darker color and we're just going to throw down some darker shingles. And what you want to do is try to stay in a few line. You don't want to go uh, just kind of crazy. Actually, you can do that, and it probably will work out all okay. But what you want to do is kind of stay in, in the line here, uh, and then overlap them a little bit here and there. And just basically, you're making these little squares and pulling it down through the roof. What's important is that you're layering the colors. So every once in a while you want to lighten up the color, maybe add a little bit of yellow or a little bit of white and lighten up the color. And what you can do is add a little bit of water to your brush and make it a little bit easier to apply the paint. Okay, so every once in a while we're lightening it up. But as you can see, I don't go in uh, perfectly straight lines. Once I've got a few layers on here, I like to jump around, put in a few squares. and then just continuing the layers. So this takes a little while to do, uh, but what you want to do is just continue layering the colors from light and dark. Make sure you're staying in these lines uh, across. And then what you can do, after you do that for a little bit, and it dries a little bit, what you can do is uh, take the same color, and since I used burnt sienna for the initial layer, I just take some burnt sienna and add a little raw umber, which is darker, and take my liner brush with some water. And I don't want too much paint, just a little bit here, and I'll go up and apply some shadow or separation between some of the shingles. Okay, so you want to keep layering, and as you layer, you can get a little more careful with your brush stroke, be a little bit more deliberate, because uh, you've already created your line, so you'll know where to stay in for color. You don't want to go too far outside the lines. You can overlap it a little bit, blend it together a little bit. just with your flat brush, 
you can make these nice effective shingles on your house or barn. So after you zoom out, you can kind of see, you just kind of get this textured pattern on your roof, uh, which will represent shingles. And like I said, you can go in after uh, and put in a few dark lines here and there and just define a few shingles and a few layers rather than every single one. Uh, Instead of defining every single shingle, uh, this will be a little more effective because when you define every single little thing, um, you kind of take a focus away from everything as a whole. Uh, this should be good enough to create a realistic look uh, without going overboard. For more online painting lessons and other tips, you can visit my website www.timgonyer.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.